What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks where we unbox and review cool shit almost every single day and in today's video we are solving a very old mystery. Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who? That's right, we want to know who exactly let the dogs out. And I can tell you right now, I know. The answer is in this box, so let's go ahead and get on into it. Now as you can see, this thing was graciously crushed by the US Postal Service. Hopefully the cargo is not damaged. All right, so it looks like we've got some goodies in here. First up, and I'm actually going to set these to the side and come back to these later, because for right now, I have to be the one that let the dogs out. I broke the dam. He's saying we all broke the dam. No, I broke the dam. Yes, that is right. We've got two beautiful new Dalmatian masks here. And let me grab the rest of the stuff out of this package so I can explain. All right. First up, old blue eyes there. And second up, another blue eyes. And we're gonna take care of one of these right now. So to answer the question, Pale Face Studios is the one that in fact let the dogs out. <laughs> Boy, that was really a lot for just a really stupid clip that I used at the beginning of this video. So what we've got here is a pair of 1996 Celebrations Dalmatian Mask recasts. And when I say recasts, I mean one-to-one -one scale recasts. There's no shrinkage. These are the exact same size as the real deal. And I can confirm because I have one of the only real deal in the hobby. This was Pale Face Studios' latest venture in the Slipknot game. And for those of you that don't know, this is in fact a Slipknot mask. It is an oddball worn by Sid Wilson in a photo with a fan. And we believe that he had this mask because he used to DJ under the moniker of DJ Doggy Dog. So these things are absolutely gorgeous. They literally look and feel just like the real deal. It's always insane to me to unbox something from Pale Face Studios because typically I have an original to compare it to and clearly I know a little bit about what I'm talking about and I still find myself hard pressed to not convince myself that these are just real. Same with the ghost glows. They are that legitimate. So just some fun facts about these guys is that there will only be 101 copies made. Hmm, I wonder why. So you guys better get in on them while you can. From what I understand, there was like 270 something ghost glows sold through Pale Face Studios. So trust me when I say that these are going to go. You better get in there and make your order right now if you're at all interested in these. And if you don't, you are going to regret it. Speaking of the ghost glows, anyone that's ordered anything from Pale Face Studios in the past automatically gets a chance to win one of these. So on Monday, October 5th, during a Mask Monday live stream on Madam Pale Face's Instagram, she will be announcing the winner. Someone's going home with one of these bad boys for free, just as a show of customer appreciation. That's pretty fucking cool. And something that Bishop definitely wanted to make clear in this video is that there is a mold defect on the right side of the snout there. That's not what you call that on a dog, right? It's not a snout, is it? Is it a snout? Whatever, on the right side of the nose there, you can see a little smoothing. This is part of the mask. The original mask had defects, and this is a very important defect to keep in mind because SIDS had this defect. That is how we know that SIDS was a 96 and not a 97, and these are recasted directly off of the 96 copy. So, this is as close to the real deal as you're gonna get unless you're extremely wealthy or extremely lucky. So I'm gonna set these guys to the side real quick. We will show those off later at the end of the video in great detail, and I will show you you guys them with my original so that you can see just how good they are. They really are phenomenal. I would almost go as far to say as these are better and cooler to me than the Ghost Glows because everybody's done Ghost Glow recasts, but this is absolutely something new for the entire Slipknot mask hobby, and that is pretty fucking cool to me. So he did throw in some other stuff. First of all, we've got some Halloween candy. Definitely down with some Halloween candy. We've got some stickers here, which I will show you guys. We've got Mr. Paleface and a Madam Paleface there holding a little mask baby. Then we've got the bloody handprint that has started to become their logo. I don't know if you guys saw that on the box or on the bags, but it was on both before I pulled those masks out. And last but not least, we've got a packaged Jabberwockies mask. This is just something he threw in for me because he knew that I liked the Jabberwockies. I always used to watch them when I first saw them on America's Best Dance Crew. They were clearly the best on that show, like, ever. And they just so happened to wear masks that were very similar to Joey Jordison and Buckethead and all that. So I thought that that was super cool and a very nice gesture from Bishop. Thank you, sir. And that brings up a good point. Why is it that so many of the best of certain things wear masks? Guar, Slipknot, Buckethead. I just find that to be interesting. It seems like there just happens to be the best of a certain thing and those people happen to wear masks. I don't know, maybe I'm getting too deep into this, but, but yeah, shout out to Bishop. This is fucking sick. It's got the Jabberwocky stamp. 
It's still in the package. Definitely going to hang this up and display it with pride. So I think that is going to just about do it for this video. I want to give one last huge shout out to Paleface Studios. Bishop and Madam Paleface, thank you guys so much for everything that you've done for me and for the House of Masks over this last year. So I absolutely appreciate it and I love you guys to death. I am going to be dropping their information down below. I'm telling you guys you don't want to miss out on this stuff. So make sure to click those links. Go check them out. Let them know that AJ Good sent you and maybe cool stuff like this will keep happening. And I I'd like to give you, the viewer, a shout out for watching my videos. Thank you very, very much. I hope that you've enjoyed this one. As always, I'm going to leave you guys with some nice up close shots of these masks and that will be that. So until next time, this has been AJ Good at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and we'll see you guys later. Mask on, 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 mask on